and welcome back to another Walgreens haul, which honestly, like 90% of this, I may as well just call it a mascara haul because that's most of what I bought here. They had a really, really, really good sale on where it was like 50% off on mascaras. And then on top of that, it was like buy two, get one free. So I was just like, oh, well, shit. I mean, I'm just going to have fun with that. So I bought a bunch of those, bought a couple hair things, and then I got the beauty enthusiast little gift bag thing that they sent out of samples, so I will show off what's in that too. That was just for, I think, if you spent over 25 or 35 bucks during the period this was going on at, you both earned 7,000 reward points if you were part of the Beauty Enthusiast program, which I have been for years, and you also got the little bag of goodies, so why not, if I was gonna buy anyway. But, um, usually it's during these type of sales that I stock up on a crap ton of mascaras, and then I don't buy any mascara for, like, a year or two. I'm just good to go, but you guys know me. I go through mascara like water, because a lot of days it's the only freaking thing I put on my face other than, like, lip balm. So, I mean, I go through a lot of mascara. So, uh, even the days when you don't see me with it on, it was probably on at some point. Either I hadn't put it on yet when I filmed, or I had washed it off for the day, one or the other. Also, yeah, my hair's kind of janky, because if I had filmed yesterday, it looked real cute. I didn't bother taking it down, so I kind of slept on it and fucked it up a little bit, but I mean, I kind of like it. It's a little bit 1940s flair, but anyway. So we're going to get right into this. So this is one thing that I've seen so many different YouTubers use, not necessarily just on its own. Usually they, I notice people using this on their lower lashes more than anything, so I finally got really curious about it. It's the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic, and I got it in blackest black, of course, because I pretty much only bother with black mascara. Um, this is the length version of it for intense length, 60% longer lashes. I can always use help in that department. Um, let's see here. Patented precision brush. It's like really long though, which I get it's supposed to be like a telescope, but I'm like that's gonna be a little janky to use, I think. So I mean I'll no doubt use this and probably review it and stuff, but L'Oreal presents telescopic mascara for lashes with intense looking length. How it works? In a stroke, the precision brush visibly lengthens lashes up to 60%. If it does that in one stroke, maybe my new favorite. I I'm very, very skeptical that it does it in a single stroke, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, ophthalmologist and allergy tested, removes easily with soap and water, suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers, and fragrance-free. Sensitive eyes part applies. Contact lenses, not so much, so anyway. Is this one waterproof? I don't remember. I'm not seeing anything about waterproof on it, so I may need to be careful with this one. I usually try to make a point of only buying waterproof, though, but yeah, I'm not seeing that listed here, so. Oh, well, it'll still be interesting to use it and also use something with that long of a wand because I'm, like, mildly terrified, but also kind of intrigued. Um, previously, and I just have it next to me because it's the one I just put on again, but I think the bulkiest, biggest one I had was, like, the L'Oreal Paris, um, what was it? What is it called? The Unlimited Mascara, um, just because it's big and it does stuff, and this was the oddest one I had. I think this may now also be in that category, also from L'Oreal, what do you know? But <laughs> So there is that. I still need to get the waterproof version of that, because I really like that stuff, but yeah, <laughs> I need it in waterproof with my allergy eyes and being little Miss Emotional who cries at, like, a friggin' picture of a puppy because they're so cute, so <laughs> anyway. I also got the Rimmel London uh, Scandalize Retro Glam in black, and this one is waterproof, but I mean, it's so 60s, on top of the fact that it's got this flared, tapered brush, um, it plumps and fans out lashes, it's for wide-eyed volume, which you all know that anything that makes my eyes look bigger, I am here for, um, but yeah. They're claiming that it's for a retro look, and that may just be a marketing scheme. I'm 90% positive it's a marketing thing, but I'm taking the bait. I bought the thing. <laughs> so there we go. But they claim 
It is for a bold, wide-eyed look, exclusive hourglass brush shaped to the lash line to plump lashes, fanning them up and out for bold, wide-eyed volume. Waterproof formula that is gentle on lashes, removes easily with Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Well, I don't have that. Um, coat slashes individually for a big, false lash look in one simple stroke, no clumps. I have yet to see a mascara that claims no clumps that actually does no clumps past, like, the first time of using it. But we'll see. This one was a more spendy one. I think this was somewhere in the neighborhood of 10-ish dollars. So, I mean, I know for a lot of you guys who are fashionistas, beauty gurus, blah blah blah, you spend a lot more on that for your makeup. I'm a little Miss Drugstore makeup over here, okay? So, for me, that's a lot of money. It's also kind of fat, so I'm hoping that there's a lot in it. Um, claims it's almost half an ounce, so I'm hopeful. And then... I don't think I've ever bought one from Wet n Wild, but I bought one from Wet n Wild just because it looks so trippy. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. Uh, multi-dimensional caution lashes that break the rules. Maximize every lash dimension um, for volume, length, definition, and curl. So if it actually does all this and those aren't falsies, which I'm pretty sure they're falsies, but I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It could become a new fave as well. Um, the wand on this, though. <laughs> Mildly terrified. This looks like a medieval tool of torture. Um, I know this is not the first mascara ever to use a wand like that, but I'm just like, what the hell? Between that and this looking like something you would stab through a vampire? You know, it just was different enough to get my attention to where I was like, I need this. I don't even know why I need this, but I need this. Um, but yeah, this one's in brazen black. And is this one waterproof? It's smudge proof. Um, doesn't say anything about waterproof though, so. Wow, I really was dropping the ball on the waterproof when I bought these. That's okay though. Some of these I know at the time when I was picking them out, I was thinking that sucks. They don't make them in waterproof. Wish they did. I think this may have been one of those actually. Yeah, yeah, I know, you guys see me picking up more and you're like, oh my god, Jen, why? Did I buy two of the same thing? Uh-oh, <laughs> I think I did. Oh, I suck. I did. Well, I have two of the telescopic. I could have sworn I, I got different ones, but no, those are the same color and all. Well, hopefully I like it, <laughs> otherwise I'll be taking one back. Um... This I've had before. This is actually one of my favorite go-to mascaras, just like this entire line by Maybelline. This is the Falsies Push-Up in Angel. Uh, it's got the sort of interesting wand on this one. Um, this one is in very black, and this is waterproof. Um, the Pushed-Up Lashes with a Winged Look, which both of those are like my go-to thing. Um, this is a slightly different one in the line than I usually get, but usually this one costs more than my go-to one. So usually I always look at this one and consider it and then don't get it. But I finally just broke down and got the thing. So the push-up effect gets a winged look for the new Falsies Push-Up Angel. The new push-up brush sweeps lashes to the side while lifting and plumping from the roots. Styling formula holds the lifted wing look in place. Ophthalmologist tested. So that, pretty much, I already do that anyway. When I put mine on, I like wiggle it up and then hold it in place for like 10 seconds before letting go to try and get it to do the thing. So this, it claims it just does it anyway. So we'll see. We'll see. If it makes my life easier, it may be worth a few extra dollars. But yeah, for best results, sweep inner lashes in an upward and outward motion from root to tip. No shit. Um... Repeat until desired lift volume and wing effect are achieved. Again, no kidding. So, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is one that it opens from both sides. I think it's just this end, but there have been a couple I've owned where the two ends did different things. Like, one had, like, the little fibers to add length to your lashes, and then you go over with the real mascara on the other side. I think one of the ones I have is, like, a Katy Perry one that did that. I think I still have it. Probably shouldn't at this point, but I, I think I still have it. Um, I've also got- what is this? 
<laughs> oh, I forgot I bought that. Okay, well, there's a little bit of lip balm in here that I forgot, because we all know I can't shop without buying lip balm, ever. So, I got one more Rimmel London in Retro Glam, Scandalize, in Extreme Black. This one's Bold Look, No Clumps. Uh, it's a little bit different than the other one. If I show you them side by side, they are a little different. I didn't do another accidental dupe. Uh, this one, let's see how. Huh? One's just black, one's extreme black, I think is the main thing here. Unless there's something else I'm not noticing. Yeah, I think it's just the color, and I wasn't sure which one I wanted more. I mean, black is black, is it not? I probably won't even notice that much difference, but I figured why not. So, I mean, again, I keep looking at those and have been doing so for better part of a year, finally decide, you know what, screw it, I'm buying them. Then I got, I've actually never had this before, I don't even know if I'm gonna like it, but these were like 50% off too, it was the Bedhead by TG, or T-I-G-I, -I, Tiggy, I don't know how you say it, Ego Boost, it's split end mender and leave-in conditioner. God knows, I need all the help with this shit I can get, because... I am the worst. Not only do I have split ends, I will sit there and peel at them the second I notice one, which is the worst thing you can do, by the way, for split ends, but I do it anyway, so I'm like, okay, I need to find something to mitigate this, because this is getting bad, because I really don't want to have to chop my hair off here again to get rid of all of them. It may come to it, but I, I want to see how long I can grow it first. I want to grow it to my butt. I want Rapunzel hair, damn it. At least for a little bit, and then I'll probably chop it to my chin again, because like, that's always my go-to. It's never gradual. It's one extreme or the other. There is no in-between when it comes to me. So, this... Let's see here. You must have a sense of humor to use our products. Boost that ego and save your hair. Ego Boost Split End Mender and Leave-In Conditioner will seal smooth and protect your hair. As a split end mender, apply to ends. As a leave-in conditioner, smooth over flyaways as needed. Use on wet or dry hair. Which tells me, use on wet hair. So, anytime it says wet or dry, if I put it on my hair dry, next thing I know, it looks like an oil slick and like I haven't washed my hair in a year. So, that. If I put it on wet, it's not so bad. So, I got that. And then I got a sample of this and then bought the whole thing. I've already used it once and I'm already reconsidering my life choices. I got the Bedhead After Party Smoothing Cream for Silky, Shiny, Healthy Looking Hair. This, I used it to try and deal with flyaways, and it looked so greasy and dirty the second I put it on. I didn't even use very much. I don't know if I'm somehow doing it wrong. I need to look up videos and see if maybe I used too much. I Again, I didn't use very much, so it doesn't seem like it should have made that big of a difference. But, um, it says the part... Uh, I can talk. The perfect party favor after party hair cream for silky smooth, shiny, healthy looking hair. Control the funky flyaways and silkify your hair to use smooth on dry hair and party on. It sounds like all you do is just put some on, smooth it on, and you go. Not a whole lot, just something. Smooth it down, make it silky. And yeah, and it's not on right now, by the way. My hair is very clean at the moment. But, um, no, it looked terrible when I tried to put this on. I need to give it more shots. I mean, I did splurge for it. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. I'm gonna use it one way or the other. But, boy, it just, it looked so bad when I used it. So I'm on the fence about how I feel about this one. I have to play with it more before I do any sort of review on it, because I don't want to give it a bad review and then find out I was doing it wrong and then have to re-review it. So, I mean, so there's that. Then I got, these are very, very basic, but I've never had them in the liquid forms, but the Carmex Daily Care Moisturizing Lip Balms in Fresh Cherry, Strawberry, and Wintergreen. These are just little tube versions. I've had the sticks. I think I've reviewed all three stick versions of these long ago, but again, I never had them in liquid, so I'm like, you know what? I'ma buy them. <laughs> I forget what even put them on my radar, but I was like, you know what? Screw it. They're like really cheap. I think they were on clearance is what brought them to my attention. I was like, okay, why not? So now we're going to look at the goodie bag that I got. Thank you for being part of our exclusive club. Please enjoy your sample bag. Oh, I will. I will. So let's 
untie this cute little pink ribbon. It says Walgreens beauty enthusiast all over it. I think this is the second sample bag I've gotten for being part of their program. First off, we have an online only 20% off coupon that expires on June 30th. So, okay. One time use only, so don't go using my code on me. $5 reward for 5,000 points for every $50 spent on beauty. Oh, mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll spend that. But, um, there's that. Then I got, let's see here, L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Hydra Nutrition All Over Honey Balm with Manuka Honey Oil, or Extract in Nurturing Oils. Soothe and Rescue Extra Dry Skin for Face, Neck, Chest, and Hands. It's Honey Balm, you say. For deep, nourishing moisture. 24-hour hydration, non-greasy, non-stick, softer, smoother, glowing skin. Um, try it now. Hydra Nutrition All Over Honey Balm Directions. Used twice daily on clean skin. Can be used over your daily moisturizer. Ideal for face, neck, chest, and hands. I'm not sure how much it normally costs, but it feels very, very soft through even the packaging. So I may be into this if it's not real spendy. And I mean, I'm starting to get up there in age. I could use some anti-aging creams, you know, just saying. <laughs> You hit a certain age, and these are just facts of life. I'm not that old. I mean, old enough to where I'm like, I'm, I'm starting to have to consider it. So, um, I got the Garnier Fruit Keys Sleek Shot in Shower Styler. Cuts sleeking time in half. Mix with shampoo, rinse and condition, blow dry to cut sleek time in half. This... Maybe my best friend if it works. I mean, if it works better than that guy over there that was supposed to do this, except not in the shower. Um, Fructis, I can talk. Fructis brings styling into the shower. Mix with your shampoo to cut your sleeking time in half. Faster, easier, blow dry styling so you can sk skip the flat iron. That would be nice if that would work. Um, I've been sitting on my foot this whole time and it's going numb, so let me move the box out of the way. Okay, so. Let me re-angle this little teeny tiny bit too. Okay. And hold on just a sec. Okay, don't mind me while I'm back and forth in between stuff right now. But, um, let's see here. How does it work? Our in-shower sleeking technology with argan oil and plant keratin, plant-based amino acids found in hair, wraps every strand evenly from root to tip, leaving behind just what you need with no residue for the smoothest and fastest sleek look. How to use? Add sleek shot to your shampoo at a one-to-one -one ratio, rinse and follow with conditioner, blow dry as usual, instant sleek. Number one, faster sleek, skip the flat iron and just grab the blow dryer, half the steps to sleek. Two, lasting smooth, 24 hours of smoothness and shine with frizz control. Oh, only 24 hours. Three, better sleek, a styling formula that covers every inch of your hair and helps protect against breakage. Sounds pretty good if it actually works. Can't hurt to try it. <laughs> then we've got... Oh, this I actually got in one of the Pinch Me boxes, too. This is by Bausch and & Loam, and it's Lumify Brimon Bromonide Tartrate Ophthalmologic... Or ophthalm ophthalm They're eye drops. <laughs> I can't say the word for whatever reason. My, my tongue does not want to work today. Uh, redness reliever eye drops. It works in one minute. Lasts up to eight hours. It's like barely anything in it though, like actual size, and the fill line is down here. That's hilarious to me, but still, I understand. It, it's only a sample. They want you to actually buy the product. If you gave you a whole bottle of it, you probably wouldn't buy the product, because most people don't need that many eye drops in that short of a time. So, makes sense. But I did notice <laughs> uh, in the inactive ingredients, there's boric acid in a thing. That goes in your eyeballs. I, I'm mildly terrified of this. Is that normal to be in eye drops, guys? That seems fairly, uh, fairly terrifying. Hydrochloric acid, too. Holy shit. So, um, you know, just, just a thing. Mildly terrified. Let me know in the comments if that's normal to be in eye drops. And, okay, I hear my phone again, so I'll be right back. 
Man, I apologize for what a cut and paste video this is with being thrown together out of multiple pieces, but gotta hang with me right now since my sister's having an issue and needs me to respond to stuff, so. We've got the L'Oreal Paris L-Vive or l -Vive Total Repair 5 Protein Recharge Almond and Protein 97% Less Breakage 450 Degree Heat Protectant Leave-In Conditioner for Damaged Hair, aka my hair. So. Our protein recharge leave in nourishes with each use to help increase strength, flexibility, and protects hair against everyday damage caused by heat and styling. Our expert recharging formula is with almond and protein. And then it just says the same stuff that it did on the front. Directions. Use with Total 5 Repair System. After using shampoo and conditioner, use a small amount to wet hair. Do not rinse. Style as usual. I'll hang on to this one. I may need to get more things for it. <laughs> um, we've also got, what is this? More coupons? More coupons. $29 in savings. Okay, what do we got here? We've got our $5 reward coupon thingy that I already read you. Save 20 on Enhance Your Lashes and Brows with a Rapid Brow and Rapid Lash. Hmm. Save $2 on Lumify. $5. Oh! Oh, I get it. This is for stuff that's in here. Okay. Coolio. Well, yay. I always like coupons for stuff like that. So then we've got... Fragrances for him and her. Sense you will love. Ooh. Are they scratch and sniff? No, they're not. Darn. Darn. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! So first we've got for Nautica, Voyage Heritage. I think it's one where you just lift it. Ooh! Even that's a man one. That smells good. Got Vera Wang's Embrace. That's actually really light and nice. Probably costs like a mint, because I mean, perfume always does, but Nautica Blue Sale. This smells a lot like the other one, but it's also really good. Vera Wang's Princess. Oh, I hope it's good. I would love to have one for Princess. Ooh, that is really nice. Oh, 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 goodness. Regular price for a one ounce, 45 bucks. 1.7 fluid ounces, 60 bucks. 3.4 fluid ounces, 75 bucks. That shit's not happening. I don't want it that bad. <laughs> it's cute, but it's not that cute. Stetson, live the legend. Eh, no, I'd rather not live that legend. <laughs> And Katy Perry's Indie. It smells like something. Can't put my finger on what, but... Mm, not wild on that one. Well, that was fun to go through, but probably not buying any of those in reality, so there's that. Did she send anything else? I can't tell from here. Hold on just a total slight subtle time lapse went from morning till oh shit now it's like hmm, what time is it 10 30 at night oh boy so you know it's a thing like i said we're gonna cobble together this video and do it so we're gonna keep going through there, there's still stuff in this bag um anyway there shouldn't be any more distractions at this point so we've got a sample of Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails gummies. I feel like I had the chewables or the dissolvables of their of these vitamins before. Two strawberry gummies. Dietary supplement. Delicious sample inside with biotin. 2500 MCG per serving. Skin and hair nutrients. And here it is inside. Number one brand for hair, skin, and nails. Nature's Bounty. 
Looking good and feeling great has never been this delicious. Nature's Bounty hair, skin, and nails gummies contain just the right balance of nutrients to support lustrous hair, healthy nails, and vibrant skin, all in a delicious, naturally flavored strawberry gummy serving. It's a nutritional supplement that nourishes your body from the inside so you can feel beautiful. Um, let's see here. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Ah, uh, biotin for healthy hair, skin, and nails, uh, vitamin C and E for antioxidant support, and naturally sourced colors and flavors. Okay, then. And they save $2 coupon on the back. At Nature's Bounty, we believe health and beauty go hand in hand. With nearly 50 years of making quality vitamins and more than 20 years in the beauty business, you can trust that every Nature's Bounty product is backed by science and made with the purest ingredients and guaranteed. Okay. So there's that. Um, we've got another one of these, the Pantene Pro-V Intense Rescue Shots Ampules. I got one of these in either a Target Beauty Box or the Walmart one. I forget which. Um, and apparently now I have another one, so one of these days I really ought to try it because now I've got two, so do the thing. No real point in rehashing what it is other than treatment targets extreme damage, helps prevent split ends. What about when you already got them? <laughs> anyway, um, so there's that. I'm just trying to go quickly through these because I'm tired. Uh, we've got La Roche Posse, um, whatever this is, Face 60 Sunscreen. Broad Spectrum 60, or SPF 60, Anthelios 60, Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid, Fast Absorbing Matte Finish for Normal to Combination Skin, with Cell Ox Shield XL, Advanced UVA UVB Technology plus Antioxidant Protection, Water Resistant for 80 Minutes, Fragrance Free, Paraben Free, Tested on Sensitive Skin. Uh, okay. Hmm. It's just, whew, oh, sorry, it's a little itty bitty tube since it's just a sample. Um, but yeah, there is that. So it should be interesting to try that out sometime. If it's not crazy expensive, it may not be a bad idea to invest in some. Next, we have V. what is it? V developed with dermatologist Itch Relief Moisturizing Lotion. That could come in handy. With Pramoxine Hydrochloride 1%, fast acting, long lasting with ceramides, steroid free. Um, it's an external analgesic for the temporary relief of itching associated with minor skin irritations. Do not get into eyes. Um, do not use on deep or puncture wounds, animal bites, or serious burns. No kidding. <laughs> but still good to have on hand and probably should have like the real deal of that on hand um so there's that what is this palmer's natural fusions uh chia seed and argan oil hair mask deeply repairs and boosts hydration no sulfates no parabens no phthalates no mineral oil no gluten naturally sourced 95 percent ingredients a hand blending cocktail of nature's most nourishing and strengthening botanicals. Nature fu er, Natural Fusions takes the guesswork out of DIY home blended concoctions and uses only the purest ingredients to care for your hair. Key infusions. Chia seed. This superfood helps strengthen and protect new growth. Argan oil. This liquid gold standard in rejuvenating dull, lifeless hair. Directions. Use whenever hair is extra moisture, thirsty, or in need of repair. Apply to clean, wet hair. Work product through hair from root to tips. Allow 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing. Can be used as an overnight mask treatment, but be sure to wear a cap or use a towel to protect the sheets. Rinse out in the AM. Warnings for external use only. Avoid contact with eyes. Give out reach to children. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. So that is very good to know. No animal testing. It's ethically and sustainably sourced. Family owned and operated. Good to know. 
And then finally, the last thing I think is a perfume sample. This is Vera Wang's Embrace, which is Marigold and Gardenia. Ooh. Very cute. So, a fruity floral fragrance blending dewy notes of melon with floral... Floracy? Is that a word? Floracy? Of marigold and gardenia, along with the creaminess of soft musks. Okay, I'll bite. Ooh, that does smell really good, actually. It's, like, actually really amazingly good. <laughs> um, if it weren't Vera Wang and probably super crazy-ass expensive, I would not mind owning that. But then again, Gardenia, of course I like it. I love Gardenia things, so <laughs> big surprise there. But anyway, that was everything that was in that bag. That was everything that was in this haul. This video is entirely too long. Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna hit stop on this, and whenever I get around to editing it together, I guess you guys will get a haul video from me where I look really rough and cobbled it together over the course of a day. So anyways, um, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. My eyes are so tired. Um, Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything is all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.